Magic's been in existence since 2700 BC. So, what does that tell us about the art of magic? It tells us one thing. It tells us that magic has existed way before neuroscience or psychology was ever founded or discovered. What does that tell us? That then tells us a small thing, that magicians have actually understood a lot more about the human mind than you think for thousands of years now. And these little secrets about the human mind and how our mind works are deeply embedded into the classical effects of magic. And today I have time to share with you one of those gold nuggets that I hope you will enjoy. And it is called misdirection. What is misdirection? Misdirection begins as an assumption. So as human beings, we're all susceptible to making assumptions. You've already made an assumption. You made the assumption that this here is a microphone. In fact, it's a uh, handheld bottle of a hairspray. That's what it is. But you see, the fact that this works, it shows that we are all susceptible to assumptions. Now, we have to carry on because we don't have much time. But you see, when you turn an assumption into a belief, that is what magicians call misdirection. So with that kind of context, I want to show you two things. But normally when I perform these things, I wouldn't say everything that I'm saying. But because there's such a beautiful lesson behind this, I'd love to share with you the thoughts that you are having in your mind as I'm showing you this. Okay? So what we're going to do is this. When I bring out these two objects, all of you are now making an assumption. You all look at these two objects and you think to yourselves, well, this looks like a normal packet of cards. It must be a packet of cards. And this over here looks like a knife. It must be a knife. As a magician, I know this. So before I come on stage, I'm in the back. Take a breath. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, here I have a packet of cards and here I have a knife. <laughs> now what does this do? It makes you turn the assumption you had before into a belief. You don't question it anymore. You think, just, oh, it must be a packet of cards, it must be a knife. Now you believe. So you're turning an assumption into a belief. Again, you have been misdirected. So what the magician then does is he takes the knife and he puts it through the packet of cards. Much more amazing if I wasn't explaining to you exactly how it was all working. <laughs> but the thing is, so now what happens in your mind? The belief you once had is now broken, and you form two new assumptions. I've done this talk quite often all around Australia, and the two assumptions, most common assumptions people think now at this point, is they'll go, it's probably a packet of cards with a hole in it. <laughs> Very good assumption. Or it just could be an empty packet of cards and there's nothing inside. Also true. So I want you to have a look at this very clearly. And Michelle, if you could just come up for a second and stand next to me. I want to show you all what's actually inside. So it goes in and out. I'll be fair as I can. Michelle, pull that knife out. What's in here is something that you just won't believe. Michelle, hold out your hand like this. I want you to verify for everyone what's actually inside. A block of metal. It's a block of metal. So try putting the knife through. Try putting the knife through. It doesn't work. <laughs> so thank you so much, Michelle. And please feel free to have a look at this later. It is indeed a block of metal and an actual knife. Feel free to check it out after. Here's the thing. Why did I show you this? I showed you this for one reason. Magic, in this context, is fun and entertaining. However, magic or misdirection in life isn't. Let me give you an example. So there were times in my life when I made these assumptions. I assumed to myself, it's too hard to lose weight. I assumed also that I'm too ugly, not good looking enough, not beautiful enough. And the third assumption I sometimes make is there are no solutions to the problems I'm currently having. Assumptions. Yeah. Now I told myself these things over and over and over and over again. And negative people in my life told me the exact same thing. What have I just done? I now turn those assumptions into a belief. And what I've just done there, ladies and gentlemen, is I've just misdirected myself. Now I believe I'm not good enough. I'm too ugly. I'm no good for anything. I believe there's no solutions to my problems. And I believe I can't lose weight. But I hope in me just demonstrating a simple little magic trick there and the psychology behind it, you all can see now that all the negative beliefs you have in your life right now are a trick you're playing on yourself. Because they aren't real. All your negative beliefs are based on nothing but a set of silly assumptions that are very, very, very silly. We are capable of anything. Our beliefs dictate our behavior and our behavior dictates our future. I'm going to leave you with one quote, and this is a quote I live my life by. Rather a mind opened by wonder than one that is closed by belief. 